<laughs> oh, blessings, everybody. Blessings, everybody. I thank God for you all. Come on in and have prayer with me for just a moment, okay? Have prayer with me for just a moment. Um, let me make sure that I'm where I need to be. <laughs> God bless you on tonight. You know, I I am um, I honestly I am being is in my spirit. You know, it's just in my spirit. Let me let me obey God, right? And that's what we want to do. I pray you've had a great service, a great Sunday on today. And I really do pray that you have been empowered, invigorated, and filled with the spirit of God. You know, it's a it's not a good thing to go to church and you still you don't feel the presence of God or you did not receive what you needed. Uh, but I believe that many of you have, and it's not too late. No, no, no. Even tonight, we want to connect with God. God and said, God, have your way. There's something that I need from you. So God, I'm asking that you would speak to me, even through me. Is that right? Somebody just want God, Lord, I need a word tonight. And it's not that I need a prophetic word. No, I just need a word of motivation, a word of increase. I need a word just to keep me going. Uh, God bless you, Sharita. Thank you so very much for being on. How was the, the parade? Was it good? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure that it was. Hello, Miss Pam. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you so very much for joining. You know, this is what I, there are times I would normally come on a Sunday, but I haven't done it in so long. Uh, but today, I just feel it. I, I I felt the presence of God to tell me, come on, I I need you to pray. And that's what the Lord is saying for me. So it's part of my, uh, I guess, part of my assignment. <laughs> today is to just pray and to see where God wants to take us. He wants us to be blessed. He wants us to be enriched. And we thank God for this year. We really do. We praise God for 2024. Um, undoubtedly, there are some things that God wants us to be prepared for. Not necessarily challenging. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's negative. But I, I believe and I hear the Lord in my spirit, saying that he doesn't want us to miss it. He doesn't want us to miss it. Don't miss the blessing. Can somebody write that for me? Don't miss the blessing. You know, we're not just on here just to be on here, y'all. No, no, no. But we're here because evidently God is saying, I don't want you to miss this. There's something that he is doing, Sharitha, I, I'm I, I'm I'm ready. I, I feel his anointing already, Sharitha. I want you to know there's something God is doing, and He doesn't want any of us to miss it. And you know, the God that we serve is so specific. He doesn't want us to miss what is rightfully ours, what He has intended. You know, we, uh, um, we would sing. Uh, the song sometime in church, it says, I got a new name over in glory and is mine. Well, I want you to know God knows your name, meaning he knows what your need may be. He knows what your desire may be. He knows what your issue may be. Now, sometimes what we do in church, we clump everybody together. <laughs> we think we know what somebody's going through, but not necessarily. No, it may be a similar issue, but this person's divorce may not be like your divorce. This person's trauma may not be like your trauma. And in even still, it may be very similar, but because we are made differently, you know, it affects us differently. I, I We are affected differently. Some people, Pastor Smith, God bless your heart. Some of us can go through some things and we can get over it real quicker, just quickly in a sense. But some people, no, no, uh, because I'm wired different. Uh, I feel the Lord, God. My, my, my chemistry is different. My fam family lineage is different. You don't understand... Can I tell you this? Your feelings are not just yours. They're the summarization of people that have gone or come before you. 
Are you, can I get a heart right there if you understand what I'm saying? In other words, you know, the, the trauma that you're feeling, uh, sometimes your mother had that same issue. Your grandmother had that same issue and, and or either similar issues. And so sometimes it's not just what you are feeling. You are feeling the pain. You are feeling even maybe the joy of other family members that are part of your ancestral lineage. That's why certain problems affect us differently than other people. My family is different from your family. Can I get an amen right here? It's different. And so some, you don't know. You don't know. Uh, 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 you know, some some people, I've been light-skinned all my life, really. And, and you know, but I didn't realize that people that are darker complexion, they have a, a different issue that they face. I never knew that until I talked to some clients of mine. I, and then they used to call me high yellow. I didn't know what that was. What is high yellow? You, you're a high yellow boy. Like, okay, what, what is that? So you don't, you don't know. Am, am I making sense? Sometimes that, that, that you tell somebody, you, you, oh, you, you're a pretty chocolate, chocolate man or a pretty chocolate lady. Sometimes you think it is a compliment, but to them, they may think, oh, you, you, why, why you got to say, I pull out that I'm dark skin or why I'm, why I have to be darker, but you meant it as a compliment. They take things differently. Hmm? And so we cannot just put everybody in the same category. Some about, somebody tonight have a serious issue. Hey, Pastor Stude, God bless you. How you doing, Sister Andre? God bless your heart, my dear. Some of us have a different issue. And so what may affect you? Anybody remember being a teenager? I remember this young man who was a teenager and I, I took him to a restaurant and, and uh, 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 my family and I took him to the, just a restaurant and, and he opened up the bottle of ketchup and it splattered on him and all, oh, it just crushed his little heart. He, he could not even eat. He, I'm like, oh, it's just ketchup. It's, it's okay. It's, you know, and it just really messed up his whole evening. Sometimes we may think, oh, that's just ketchup. Oh, come on, get over there. Eat, eat them ribs, eat them ribs. But you don't know. Some things affect others differently. Hmm? That it may affect you. It, oh, I see you, Pastor Smith. He, he, he gives us a confirmation. His mar most dark-skinned people, as myself, had low self-esteem and a complex. Wow. I, I really did not know that. Me, personally, as I began to talk with other people, I realized it. But, but sometimes the darker you are, the more trouble you may deal with. Now, I need somebody to understand this. God is saying, don't miss the blessing. Don't miss it. Don't, don't miss, y'all, I'm telling you, don't miss the miracle. Now, please hear me. Because somebody, you know, uh, and honestly, let, let's go back to that. Uh, uh, some people, well, I'm, I'm dark skin. They're not going to pay me any attention. Or I'm light skin. Sometimes they, they uh, think that I, I'm, you know, uh, sometimes that's a bad complexion on you. It's, oh, they don't know that much. You know? <laughs> they just high yellow. Oh, have you ever seen people that are just pretty? Oh, they're just pretty. They, 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 I remember one gentleman, he told me he was having some marital issues, Brother Smith, and he told me, he said, Pastor, people like my wife because she's pretty, but they just don't know. <laughs> she is she is hell in heels. <laughs> And I had to look at her like, wow, she was a beautiful young lady, but oh, she was hell in heels. Sometimes we got to be open our minds. I don't want, I don't want to allow people to cause me to miss the blessing because I may be dark skin, or I may be lighter skin, or I may be a few pounds heavier. Don't miss the blessing. Don't well, what what blessing could that be? I want you today to pray, Lord, help me to come out of my complex because there's something that you want me to receive. Help me to come out of my shyness because there's something I need to be bold about to acquire in my life. Lord, help me be a better me. Can somebody write that for me real quickly? Lord, help me to be a better me. This is my prayer. Lord, help me to be a better me. I don't want to miss the blessing that you have for me.
God, Brother Smith, I want you to realize, God, Lord, help me to be a better me. Help me to be a, a better me. Sometimes I, I feel like, well, I, I, I may not know this. And I'm can I, let me just really flow as I feel it. There are times in my life I feel like, well, God, I don't know this and I don't know this and I don't know that. And the enemy will bring out all the stuff that you don't know. And it blocks you. It, it causes you to have a complex. And God is saying, no, 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 don't you let that block you. There is so much more that you do know. Can I get an amen right there? See, the enemy wants to make you feel like, oh, you don't know this. Or you don't know the Hebrew in this word. And you don't know the Greek in here. And you don't know that. And you don't know this. That Do you know there is so much information that is out there that you're not going to know everything? But just be open to be used by God. To be open to be used by God. Don't miss the blessing. Oh, don't you miss it? Don't you miss it, Pastor Stu? Don't you miss it? I didn't got happy here. Don't you miss the blessing? Did you hear me? Now, Pastor Stu, I don't know why, but I feel like uh, uh, I'm massaging something. There's some swelling that is going down. Now, I don't know what that is, but I have to tell you what I'm hearing is some swelling. God is reducing swelling. And uh, don't you miss the blessing? Andre West, don't you miss the blessing? I, I don't know why, but I feel like God is massaging like the heart, like massaging. I, 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 it's just what I feel like. I, I feel like God is massaging. Andre West, I feel like God is massaging the heart, causing, that's my sign to say, to relax. God is moving. Relax, relax. Get ready, but while you're getting ready, relax. Greater or good prosperity, abundance is being attracted or magnetized to you. Can I pray for just a few minutes? Father, in the name that is higher than any name there could ever be, we thank you for the name that's higher than the United States of America. We thank you for a name that's higher than Biden. We thank you for the name that is higher than Trump. We thank you for the name that is higher than the highest court in the land. God, we thank you because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is the Lord. So God, we do thank you. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your love. We speak now blessings and increase upon the hearts of your people. We thank you that it is well, it is so. We give you praise, God, and we thank you right now for everything is working out for our good because you're not going to leave us alone. You're not going to desert us. You're not going to cause us to, to be stuck. No, God, you're causing us to be elevated. You're causing us to enjoy. I hear that in my ear, enjoy increase. Can somebody write those two words, enjoy increase? Can somebody write those two words for me real quickly? Enjoy increase. I, I just hear that in my ear. Enjoy increase. Don't shy away from it, but embrace it. Don't, don't sidestep it. No, embrace it. Go right in and enjoy the increase because there's more where that came from. God is really saying, now I need you to push. I need you to push into enjoyment because if you can just really enjoy Enjoy the goodness of God. God will add more to you. The Bible says with joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. Come on. It's going to happen with joy. We got to be, we got to uplift our spirits. Uh, I need to get ready to pray with some people here. I want you to believe God. I want you to know this really quickly. The Bible says this. Everybody grab this. Lakinia, blessings to you, my dear. Grab this. The Bible said if my people called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, turn from their wicked ways. Grab this real quickly. I'm getting ready to pray. The Lord spoke this to me just, just a few minutes ago before I came on. Turn from their wicked ways, which means change your thought pattern. Can somebody write that? Lakinya, can you write that for me? Change your thought pattern. Change your thought pattern. God bless you, Dr. Sabrina. Change your thought pattern. If, in other words, for you to have a way whether it be wicked or good, it has to start with your mind. So God is saying, I need you to change your thought pattern. If you turn from your wicked ways or your ways of destruction or your way of distraction, I can really bless you. 
I can move mountains for you. But I need you to change your thought pattern. I need you to believe more in yourself than you've ever believed before. I need you to know greater is he who is within you. Beverly George, hey, how you doing? God is telling me to encourage us all. Change your thought pattern. I need you to get out. Uh, Pastor Smith, I get it. Those have had a dark complexion. And like, mm, do they really like me? Do they? Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm dark skinned. I get that. Change the thought pattern. You know, one man, he used to say his wife was dark skinned, but he would always say this. That, what is it? The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Now you can take that how you want to. But he had to get his wife out of that mindset. Oh, no, I love you. I love the darkness about you. That's something good about you that I enjoy. And there's something great about you that God really wants to use. God really, but you got to be committed now. And sometimes we don't like that word, but let me make this very clear. Committed kind of goes with consistent. You got to keep going. I need to get ready to pray with somebody. Lakinya, your name keep ringing in my ear. Pastor Smith, you got to be continuous. You got to continue. You got to be committed to the cause. Now, Pastor, I'm telling you, oh, there's some, some challenges that are really facing you. And I'm telling you, they are. Oh, but you got to be committed. You got, I'm going on. I'm going all the way. I don't care what you're going to call me. And you know what? Some people are mean. They know, they, they know what button to push to kind of make you upset. And that's the enemy's goal. You little black thing. Ah, oh, see there they go with that, that dark complexion. I hear you. But whether I'm dark, what we used to say, red or yellow, black or white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the children of the world. Jesus loves you. He is committed to you. Now, are you committed to him? Are you committed to him? God, I got to keep going. I may be high yellow. And some people, I, I, I don't know, you know, Dr. Jackson. Oh, I, I know you're a very educated woman. But sometimes the enemy comes in and fights me. Well, you don't know this, Mosul, and you don't know that, and you don't know. Yeah. But I know the Lord and, 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 and God knows my heart. And I like to read. I love to study. But even seeing, even the more I study, it looks like they have so much more that I don't know. Now, that's a trick of the enemy, though. Some people say, well, that's a blessing. Yes, but the, the, a blessing can also be used to come against you. Oh, my goodness. The, the enemy can use what you think is good to come against you. And so you feel like you're not smart enough. Now, I need three people to write this. I am good enough. Give me three people to write that. I am good enough. You are good enough for God to use. Now, let's go right down our street, can we? You are good enough to have all the money you want. You really are. You are good when, honestly, let's, you know, if you don't mind me being uh, uh, truthful and honest, really, and I know sometimes we want to stay in the church vein, but if you realize there are some people out there that got plenty of money and it was all they needed was a mind. It wasn't because they so handsome or so gorgeous. It wasn't because they were so talented. They just had a mind that I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. I don't care what you say. Call me whatever. I'm good enough. I'm good enough. I'm good enough. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Listen, can I be honest with you? As a pastor, as a teacher, that's the Christian faith. That is the mindset of Christ to know I am good enough. I am the way. I am success. I am ab abundant. I am. I am great. Start speaking. Jesus asked, I believe it was Peter, who do men say that I am? Well, some say you're this and that, but who do you say I am? Now, that's cool what Peter said. He said, thou art the Christ. But it was Jesus who had to know himself. You got to know for yourself who you are. You got to know for yourself how good you are. Huh? So now I just told you to write, I am good enough. I told you to write it, but you got to know it for yourself. I, I am good enough. I am good enough. I am. Now, I don't mind getting better. I don't mind doing more. Oh, but I want to tell you right now, I am good enough. I'm good enough. I'm qualified. I'm competent. Pastor Stute, you're competent. You're committed. God is ready to cause the increase, greater increase in and for your life because it's not just for you. It's not just for you. The blessings of the Lord are coming more so this year for you. I'm prophesying now. There's more that is coming for you 
through you. That's come, that's more coming for you, through you, for others. I, I don't know why, but pastor, I just want you to hold on to this. God has not forgotten about you. I just need you to put it in your mindset. I'm good enough. I'm getting what I want. Get, get an attitude about it. Get, a, get an attitude about it. I pray you hear me. Get an attitude. Get an attitude. You know, saints of God. Thank you, Father. Can I pray with some people? Listen, I, I, I want to. Pastor Suda, he's still dealing with me about you. You're good enough. You're good enough. Believe God for your home. Believe God. It's almost like you got to square your shoulders back and say, wait a minute now, I'm, I'm about to get this miracle. Uh, you know, somebody got to, under, I done been to too much church services. I done done too much. I've done, no, I done prayed too much for God to fail me. And can I tell somebody else something? Dame, Damien, I'm sorry, Brother Smith, Pastor Smith, I'm sorry, I don't mean to mix the titles up, forgive me. But what I do want you to grab is to understand I've done too much. We've done too much in the body of Christ. Too many of you have gone to Sunday school too many times. And let me let me be very clear. Mm. I hear the Lord saying, say it. Some of us, we've gone to church after church, service after service, Sunday after Sunday. You, 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 you know too much to be broke. Isn't it funny? God bless you, Apostle Simmons. Blessings to you. Do you know I, I, I want you to really grab this. If there's a person that have five degrees and they broke and don't have no job, I kind of look at them like, hmm, what's up with that? Now, is that just me? And it may be. But if you got five, even three, two degrees, and you broke, you don't have no money, it's like, uh, what's up with that? Now, I understand things can happen. I really do. But you know what my, I guess my mindset would be, you, you too smart to be broke. Now, can I get somebody to write that for me? I am too smart to be broke. Pastor Simmons, I, I pray you don't mind. But if you can, can you write that for me? Because that's what I hear in my spirit. Is Michelle still on here? I am too smart to be broke. Can you write that for me? I want you to hold on to, I'm too smart to be broke. Uh-uh. Now, does that make sense? Can I get a heart right there if that's making sense to anybody? How are you doing, Peggy? Is that making sense to anybody? Honestly, uh, uh, Brother Presley, how are you doing? You, you, you're just too, uh, Brother, Brother Presley, I, I, I never expect to see you without no money. Now, I know I'm on here and talk about the Holy Ghost and Jesus and Christ and all that. That's wonderful. I ain't got no problem with that. That's wonderful. But Jesus died. He died for me. Uh-uh. He, he died for me. So I don't have to be impoverished. I don't have to live. No, no. I know too much stuff. I know too much. Do you know? And this is where I guess my I, my mother raised us to understand. You got to have something in your back pocket that you can pull out at any given time. You need a job. You know, I, I don't like to cut the grass, but I know how to cut the grass. You follow me? You you got to. Am I making sense? Somebody said we'll pay you to sing for this wedding. I sure will. I know how to do that. Uh, 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 someone will pay you to play the, the organ over here. I know how to do that. I can do that. Do you realize you are too smart? You are too gifted. You are too talented. Somebody, you know how to do braids and you know how to make some money. Somebody, you know how to clean up your bedroom, which means you know how to make some money because you know how to clean up a house. I, I, am I making sense? A young lady uh, 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 started a business because she, she liked to clean. She said, well, I like to clean. I might as well make some money out of it. Uh, hey, start asking, but you need your house clean? I'll come and clean it. Boom, bam, business. Boom. You are too smart to be broke. Can I get an amen right there from somebody? You are too smart. You, you're too smart. Mon I like that mongol. I like that. I like that. See, you prophesying to yourself. You're too smart. You, 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 oh. And I like that, but, but Simmons, I, I'm, you're too anointed. 
God has laid his hand on you. He did not lay his hand on you for you to be just impoverished. Dana, you too smart. I, I know I've spoken to you, Dana. Uh, Maria, now that young lady used to used to uh, 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 watch my home and my kids. Too smart. <laughs> that young lady, you could show her how to make a, a any type of sandwich you want. She she'll watch you, and boom, she used to work at a sandwich shop, and she watched what they were doing, and she just picked it up. Oh, and she would say, "Mr. Michael, I can make this type of sandwich for you," and I, uh, and and boom. Many of you are too smart, Dana. I'm not through with you. I called your name for a reason. God is elevating you. I want you to hear me. God is elevating you. You are too smart to deal with certain things. And I'm going to go hear certain people. Okay. Now you let people come up to you. Don't you bring, don't you go down to them? Did you hear me? What I said? What are you saying, Dr. Mosley? I'm saying some things in code. You stay focused on where you are going. This is the year. I said it yesterday. This is the year we got to stay focused. Where are you going? Because the enemy wants to send things to kind of get us off track, you know, and it's okay. Well, I want this particular home. I want this type of life. I want to be married. There's nothing wrong with the wants, but I got to stay focused as to where I'm going. I got to stay focused where I'm going. And if you stay focused, God will send the right people that will match your focus. Did you hear me? God will send the right people. Can somebody write that for me? Reverend West, can you write that? God will send the right people to match your focus. I need you somebody to write that one for me. God will send the right people to match your focus. I understand that this person is beautiful, that person is handsome, and that person is sexy, and that, that is great and marvelous. But we all know that we've been around some beautiful people, but it wasn't a good match. I need somebody that's sexy, gorgeous, and all of that good stuff, but that can match my focus, that can match where I'm going along with all these other beautiful attributes. God, please hear me, Sister Dana, God is elevating you. So I, I understand there's some things that we desire and they are going to happen, but you cannot, don't go down, don't descend, ascend. Ascend. You know, I'm just to say something that's gonna sound kind of not so pleasant. But Brother Smith, uh, uh, Reverend Simmons, I'm going to say this to you. Some, sometimes we're too smart to hang around certain people. Now, I, I'm not saying we, we, we don't have to help, or we're not called to help people, but I'm too smart to hang around certain people because they have a way of pulling me down. Well, Dr. Moses, you, you, you ought to pull them up. Yes, I ought to. But sometimes because the, the, the negativity is so precious, it's, it's so heavy. It, it really is. Negativity is heavy, heavy, heavy. The lighter you go. See, the more, you know, the more you, you weigh yourself down, it, it's, it's challenging. You know, let's take a football person that you got on the football gear. You got on the football gear, but I want to see you swim with that football gear on. If you're going into the pool, you 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 have on as as a minimum minimum amount of clothing. Are you following what I'm saying? You have the minimum amount of clothing. Everything you can't wear for everything. So sometimes you're too smart. Some people they they, they weigh you down. It's the pressure. It's all these layers: the the helmet and the pads and the, all the pads that you got on when you're playing football. It's gonna weigh you down. So my brother, my sister, hear me, hear me. Mm, I hear the Lord. I hear the Lord real strong, Andre West. I really do hear the Lord. Please hear me. Sometimes we're wondering, God, why this person hasn't come into my life or why that hasn't come. And then there's some people God is trying to introduce you to and we don't, we kind of miss, miss, miss it. Because they may not look the part. Now, I'm not talking about just a relationship. It may just be a job or maybe uh, uh, just somebody, a new friend that you may need to uh, acquaint yourself with. 
But sometimes we're so used to, you know, our homeboys, you know, we're so used to, hey, you know, kicking it and all that. And that's beautiful. But and I, I, but where is God taking you? Where is he taking you? And again, I don't want this to sound bad, but I, I'm not saying that you can't socialize with. No, no, no. But I just can't consistently hang around you if you're not. You already got where you want or where you want to be. This is not where I want to be. So I got to keep going. You are good right here. Am I helping anybody? Can I get a heart right there? There are some people, they are good. They want an apartment and that is a beautiful apartment. That's what they wanted. Now they're good. They settle. You're trying to move on, but they don't want you because you're a good friend. You're trying to move on, but they don't want you because they like the way you make them laugh. You're trying to move on, but they don't want you to move on because they want you to stay down here with them. But see, this is where they want to be. This is good for them. But I want something else. This is your life. You better go for it. Did you hear me? You better go for it. You better go for what God is, what he's putting you. You want the house? You want the car? Go for it. Now, some things... Some things I don't want. I don't want the sports car. That's just me. I don't want the sports car. I don't want Zoom now. I'm good. I'm at the age and I need to be a little slower. So I, you know, let me stay right here. Now, if you want to go on and get the Lamborghini or whatever, that Maserati, go ahead. I want to encourage you. Go on. Go on. Go on. Somebody right now, God is telling you, go on. You too smart. You're too smart. You know too much about God to be broke. You have too much of an anointing to be broke. Money is a spirit. Money is an energy. The God that we serve is a anything too hard. Look, Kenya, your name is in my ear. Can I pray with some people? Look, look Kenya, let me know. Are you still on here? Let me know if you're still on here. The hand of God is, is, is moving and and really, hmm, I hear that scripture that the Lord will restore the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar and all the things that have destroyed God is restoring. Thank you, Jesus. And oh, you on here, great, my dear. I don't know you right now. Forgive me, because if I do know you, it's just like I can't see your pretty pictures, or I don't know. You. Because <laughs> some people, you act like you don't know me. Well, I can't really see. We, we are online. But I hear the Lord telling me to tell you, he is restoring you. Oh, I hate when this stuff comes, but don't y'all pay no attention. Somebody, if you can, try, just try to block it if you can. Because there is nothing, nothing more than the enemy. But to understand, God is serious. God is is serious the hand of god is ready to bring increase in and f into your life and for your life god is ready to bring forth greater increase in your life look kenya And it's funny, it, it, it won't show on my end. I don't know how they do that, but it won't show. So it won't allow me to uh, 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 block that person, which is what I was trying to do. And I guess they got it in a way that we I can't do it. Isn't that crazy? On my own. <laughs> on my own live, it won't let me even block. That, 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 now, that, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Um Look, Kenya, I want you to know now, the, the, I don't know why, but the Lord is giving another chance. Um, I need to get a moderator. Thank you so very much for that. And I, I'm going to have to work on doing that to see how even to get that done, because it, it's really not, uh, it's not doing it on my end. But I'm, and I will work on that. Bear with me one more second, La Kenya, uh, because I really do feel uh, 
God's presence upon you. Now, Lakinia, you are really called into ministry. So God really wants to use you in ministry. God really wants to use you in. Now, when I say call, that means as a plan for you. Now, I'm not saying go and start preaching and go start your church. No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that uh, the enemy, the enemy it's trying its best to block you because you are a lifesaver. You are a giver of life. Now, because you had so many traumas, and that's what the Lord is telling me, in 2023, you've had several, like three to four traumas. I mean, really hard hits. Now, I hope this makes some sense to you, but because you went through it, that's all God wanted you to do was to go through it. Now, you have became, you have become stronger, and you understand more of what to do and what not to do. And not only that, he's telling me that you know more what not to say. Let me know if I'm making any sense at all to you. You know more of what not to say. Am I making any sense to you, Miss Lakenya? And if I'm not, that's fine. Because it, it, sometimes when, when I'm a prophet, I see things a little differently than you. Okay. But I'm just curious because he's saying you know more what to do, what not to do, and more what not to say. He's emphasizing that saying. And all he wanted to see was will you make it through? Can you go through it? And you did. You did. So now, I also want to encourage you, Lakinia, to know that the hand of God is absolutely relocating you. I don't know where you live, but don't shy away from a relocation. God is relocating you. Now, when he says relocating, I feel like he's actually moving you. Maybe you're going from this city to that city or this state to that state or maybe from this neighborhood to that neighborhood. But the Lord is telling me you definitely, it's a relocation that he is doing and he is answering your prayer, okay? Now, I need you to stand firm and to stand tall as to who you are. Don't deny yourself. Don't, don't dummy down. Okay, don't dummy down. Is your mother sick? Yes or no? Because I feel like I'm supposed to be praying for your mother, or is this a mother, someone that you consider like a mother? But it's a female, and of course, but I feel like an older female that I need to pray for, but I'm praying for healing. Let me know. Just say mother sick or mother not sick, or I don't know. But And, and I've had that to happen too, but I got to hear this. I'm I'm praying for a female that is a mother type figure that is sick. So let me know, uh, or either if mother passed from a, a particular illness, let me know. But I got to go with this. He won't leave me from this. His mother is sick. Danian Smith, are you still here? Um, I think you're saying your mother is sick. I think you're saying that. Is that what I'm understanding? Can your mother sick? I hear the Lord saying healing, okay? So that's where I'm going with healing. So God, we're believing you for healing right now. And I feel the Lord comforting the heart. Lord, comfort the heart. God, comfort the heart right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. Now, I don't know who this with a leg issue connected to you. I believe so. She talks about her body. Okay. So right now, I believe I want to also go down to the leg and we want God to strengthen the legs. Okay. Our mother, this is what he's telling me. We want God to strengthen the legs. So God, we thank you right now that you're doing a greater work with mother. And we thank you for that you love her so much that you're letting me know about this situation and that you really do love her thank you for this family and we speak great strength in the name of jesus christ we speak great strength uh, uh, anthony simmons are you still on here your name is in my ear right now the bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivers us out of them all now i don't want you to focus on the many because what he's really is a general term we go through a lot of stuff but what I want everybody to focus on is that the Lord delivers us out of them all. There is nothing that you go through that God cannot and will not bring you through. Look, can you, you need to get back into your, your line of work. Okay. You need to get back into your line of work, whatever that is. I don't know what that means. He's saying, get back into your line of work. I need prayer pastor. I'm trying to save my kidneys. God, is there anything too hard for you to do? I'm asking you, I want everybody to pray with me right now. Lord, save your vet's kidneys. Can, can we write that? Lord, save your vet's kidneys. 
Lord, save your vet's kidneys right now. You can do it. You really can. And we thank you that it is so in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Woo! You know what? I see you really happy this year. I really do. I see you happy. He's also telling me to tell you that this March, I battle with asthma sometime in the spring when the pollen started coming. And sometimes it's hard for me to breathe. And so this is what he's showing me. It's like this March, you are going to be able to breathe. You are going to be able to breathe more. That's what he's telling me. You are going to be able to breathe more. So that means a relaxation. So I want you to know this. God, not only working on the kidneys, he's working on your lungs. He's working on your body, your vet. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dear. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Get, who else can I pray for? Who else can 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 I, I, I pray for tonight? I believe, I believe, I believe God. I believe God. Uh, Nene, where's your mom? Where's Aud where's Audrey's shoulders? Is she? I just wanted to make sure she can she can hear me. I just want to make sure she can hear me. Oh, there she is. There she is. I'm sorry, I couldn't see it on my end. Andre, I hear the Lord in my ear, loud and clear. God is going to make you happy. God is going to make you really happy. God, this year, God is going to make you really, really happy. I see the kind of happiness where you just cry. Have anybody ever been that happy? I have. Where well, you're just so happy till you just cry. I remember my little boy, my second son, second oldest son. He wanted his own room so bad. And, and one day we moved and moved to another home. And I wanted a home with six bedrooms so all everybody can have their own bedroom. And I, I found it. I got it. And I remember him. I remember taking him into a bedroom. And I called his name. And I said, Chris. He looked at me, yes. I said, this is your very own bedroom. You don't have to share it with nobody. That child broke out in a cry that I could not ever imagine. I'm about to cry right now just thinking about it. <laughs> that baby cried because that's all he wanted was his own little space. I want to tell you, Andre, I feel God is about to make you so happy that it's a cry. God is bringing your family together. I'm to get it, 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 it. God is bringing your family together. And that's a great celebration that is taking place. The words of an old song that says, He hear my faintest cry. He'll answer by and by. I want to tell you congratulations. God is bringing your family together. I want you to hear me. Bishop Battles, congratulations on the Yedda Debo Shaya. Whew, all right. I need to pray. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Bishop, it's time to get into warfare now. It's time to get into warfare now, okay? It's time to go into warfare. Now the celebration is over. And that's what the Lord is telling me. It's time to go into warfare right now. The enemy is really trying to um, fight against you. But I need you to know it's, it's warfare now. It's warfare now, okay? Now, 
There are some challenges that are coming from three different directions, but th this is warfare now. This is spiritual warfare, okay? So I want you to know this. God has an anointing over you to fight, to fight, okay? Under your da 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 Ha, ah, y'all, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on here, hold on, oh, glory to God, I feel like I'm, you know, I'll be in church, the old mothers be shaking it off, <laughs> hallelujah, Woo! thank you, Jesus, oh my goodness, oh my God, somebody, I want those of you, well, I don't know how, but somebody, God has implanted a $200 seed offering, a two two two, two hundred $222 seed offering, I need you to do that quickly. Whoever you are, whoever you are, I want you to plant a $222 seed offering. Whoever you are, I need you. That's what he just told me loud in my ear. Uh, and, and, and somebody else, I want you to plant a $100 seed. But it's, it's, it's really, I don't know who it is, but it's loud in my ear, so I have to tell you. Now, this is not a gimmick. It's not a game. This is really serious business. Now, let me get back to Bishop for just a second. The enemy wants to silence you. And split your ministry. You have a, He has a church in Chicago, I believe, in Chicago. This is a pastor that wants to try to split the ministry. But God says, no. Fight, fight in the realm of spirit. Now, we're not fighting negative. We're fighting with our praise, honor God. You don't have to, you know, fight to, to, you know, be mean. Or, it's not really being mean. It's just what I'd rather for you to do is fight by praising God. Invoke the presence of God more. Invoke the presence of God more. All right? And if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. Now, understand what that means. I will draw all men, even those that don't want to be near me. Are you catching what I just said? If I be lifted up, I will draw all men, including those that that go be stubborn. God is saying, you just lift me. You, Oh, you're looking for another job? And if you're not, this is what he's saying, pray for another job. That's what he's saying for me, Bishop Battle. So I don't know what that is about, but God is saying, pray for another job. So we're going to believe God for the other job. Those of you that are giving right now, plant your offer. Now, those of you who have that, that double digit seed, plant that $88 seed. That, and I've been, I've been on that 88 for a couple of days now. I want you to Y'all, I just feel the anointing of God. Plant your offering. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, somebody messaging me and let me know. We need to see. How do we give? Um, you currently looking for another job? Oh, my goodness. I cannot make this up, y'all. <laughs> I really do get happy with it. You know, what I know, I'm in line with him. Uh, Dr. Cynthia uh, uh, Henry. The Lord is touching your body, but it's like your legs. It's like your legs. God is giving strength to your legs. God is giving strength to your legs. Uh, uh, the Lord is giving strength to your legs. Hold on. There are three people. The Lord is saying, I want you to plant a $222 seed offering. Now, the understand is the Lord is moving in somebody's household. God is moving in somebody's household. I feel like I'm walk. I'm, I'm not walking. I'm knocking out. A wall. I feel like I'm knocking out. Now that may not be literal, but it may be a sign that that's increased that is coming to somebody's residence. Okay. I feel like I'm knocking out a wall. <laughs> It's just knocking it out. But the Lord, there's also a business on here. Now, this business has to do with food because I feel like I'm I'm in a kitchen and the kitchen is growing. I want you to plant that $222 seed. If you know that, you plant it right now. Somebody has planted that $88 seed. Plant that $88 seed really quickly. Can you do that for me really quickly? I want to pray with some people before I go. I want to pray with some people right quickly before I go. Um, Y'all, I done just got myself all happy. And and I thank the Lord for it. I want you to pray. Um, pray. Pray. Somebody, uh, I don't understand this. Somebody I'm praying for. 
It's going to come to me in a moment. Plant your offering right quickly. Plant your offering. Would y'all do that? Plant your seed offering right now. Pam, I thank you very much for being on. And I want to encourage you. God, and this is exactly what he's given to me. God is strengthening your daughter. God is strengthening your daughter. Now, I don't have time to go all into it, but look like that. I see her giving you some money. Now, I believe it's like a repentance offering. It's like it's like something that she owes you. Now, it may not be, but this is the way I'm getting it. It's like I'm giving you this to say to show you in my way I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So that's a change that is happening in your beautiful daughter. I want to congratulate you right now, okay? God is really moving and causing an increase for you. All right. We thank the Lord for it. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Others of you are planting your offering right now. I want you to give your offering. D Dr. Henry, again, he keeps telling me he's touching your legs. Now, I, again, I don't know what, 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 but he's touching your legs. Okay. We go hold on to that. <laughs> we got to hold on to that. Nay, nay, I bless God for you, my dear. You know, I want you to take a moment to congratulate yourself because you're, you're wiser. You're starting to understand a few more things. In other words, you're just becoming wiser. And it doesn't sound right, but I, I want to congratulate you because you're not the same. You're not the same. This is what he's telling me. You're not the same. You're putting a bit more thought into your actions. Not that you just willy nilly, no. But according to my teachings, the way we think our lives are governed, you, you, you travel the path of your thought. So now you're putting more thought into where you're going or what you want out of life, which means now you it's like you're accelerating that car to move quicker, faster, and more efficiently to your destination. Congratulations. I really say congratulations to you. I am anticipating great success for you. Great success. Ah, uh, yeah. Others of you are planting your offering right now, and I'm speaking an immediate return. Now, I have to tell you what I'm hearing. I am speaking an immediate return. Tomorrow is Monday. I forgot what day it is. I, the, tomorrow is Monday. That's a, a, a financial increase for somebody on tomorrow. I, I want you to get your offering in everybody. Get your offering in. I bless God for woo. Anybody else with that needing prayer real quickly? Anybody else that's needing prayer, put your prayer request right there. Let me pray real quickly before, before I go. I thank God for you. Oh, my goodness. I bless God for you, Sister Nene. I really do. I bless God for you. God is moving. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'm I'm praying for God touch Pam and the coughing that she's in dealing with. It's funny. I've never known coughing to be dealing with. It is like an allergy. It's like an allergy. That's what he's telling me. It's like an allergy. So we believe in God for healing. All right. We believe in God for healing. Uh, Sharitha, congratulations, my dear. You are ready to really see God do a greater work within you. And it's like you, you're ready for this. So now I see like you, I feel like I'm putting on some shoes, but it's a sign of being at peace because I'm ready to walk out of some things. All right. I'm ready to walk out of something. That's what he's telling me. You're ready to walk out of some things. Okay. Uh, continue to pray for me, wife and I, our children. And our church. I'm believing the Lord for your ministry. 
and I'm really praying for your wife. And I want you to pray for strength, okay? Strength, strength, strengthen. The scripture comes to me that says, when you have been converted, go and strengthen your brother. I need you to go and strengthen your sister, your wife. Because you've been, you, you've been changed. You, I don't want to get too personal, but because you have made some choices and some changes in your life, I need you to speak strength to her because she will get, it is true, I'm sorry to say it, but she will get the backlash, okay? And she has to became, be, remain strong. Um, and this is just what I hear. And, 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 and I don't mean to, well, it's just what I hear. She will automatically get the backlash. So we want God to strengthen. Because you know what? Honestly, everybody, if you keep, you know, keep hitting somebody in a certain spot, soon it's going to get sore. And you like, soon you're going to start questioning, did I really sign up for this? Lord, this ain't, uh-uh, I'm tired. Because it's, it's starting to wear you out now. So now, but we got to do is pray for strength. Strength. You may have to reposition yourself, but strength. We may have to just do some exercises, but strength. That I can still continue to take it. And that God will strengthen us through it all. Amen. So I want you to pray for strength. For the wife and then for the church. God will move. Now, we in a spiritual warfare, so I want you to cover them in prayer, okay? Cover them uh, even in the oil, but you understand the spiritual realm. Now, you need to become a little bit more, don't get mad at me, but you need to become a bit more serious about that spiritual realm, okay? You got to remember now, you, you, you're spiritual, okay? You, 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 you're spiritual. Hold on to what I just said, Okay? Sometimes, and I have a tendency to forget too, but mm, no, this ain't the season for us to forget. We got to remember who we are. You're spiritual, okay? Keep that in mind. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Prayers are continuing uh, on continuing my elevation. Received text the other day and had the strength to shut it down. You see, didn't that, isn't that what I just said? God was elevating you? So you understand that's so much good for you. Stay focused on what you want. And can I tell you this? Everybody, for example, if you're focusing on a five-bedroom home, stay focused on that. This is where I'm headed. Now, I may go to a, 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 a three-bedroom home. I may go to that. But I'm going to stay focused on where I'm going. Because I'm just here until I get to where I'm going. I used to tell people, I'm driving a Toyota until I can get my Mercedes. And then I, I did. I drove a Toyota until I got my Mercedes. So you follow me? Stay focused on where you're going. You're going higher. Now, I'm not, I'm not coming down. No, I'm going higher. I'm just, I got to have something for right now until as it continues to cause me to grow in God. You hear me? So I want you to know this, that God is moving forward and he's elevating you. So you got to stay true to the elevation. All right. Don't come down. Don't you come down. You stay on that ele that plane as to where you are headed. That's the, that, that is the word for the year. That is the message for the year. Stay focused. Stay focused. In 2024, stay focused. Stay focused. You hear me? Oh, my goodness. I pray. Were y'all blessed on tonight? Were, were y'all blessed on tonight? I really do pray that you realize God is saying, I am encouraging you to stay focused. Keep going. I'm elevating you. I'm elevating. Bishop, God is elevating you. Uh, uh, Pastor Smith, God is elevating us. We can't go down now. Uh-uh, we can't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> We are too smart. Peggy, we are too smart. Peggy, are you still on here? Um, thanking God for $2,300 to pay for chemo treatments. A grant. Wow. The 
the Lord is telling me you haven't seen. It's almost like how we say, well, you haven't seen nothing yet. That's what he's telling me. Reverend West, I'm saying it in this way because this is the way it's coming to me. God is going to pay you for what you've gone, what you've gone through. The Lord is going to pay you for what you've gone through. All right? Just kick that to the back burner. Okay? That's what he's telling me. Plant your offering. Plant your offering. Plant your offering. I must keep walking on this journey. You got to. Uh, uh, and that may be what he's saying about these legs. I, I, I don't know. what, it, But he's strengthening your legs. That's what it may be spiritual. Uh, and I'm sure it is. But you got to keep walking. You got to. Greater is he who is within you. And he, he strengthens you to maintain your focus. Saints of God, we got to stay focused. And that's what you're going to hear me say throughout this year. Because that's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep, stay focused. We cannot quit. We cannot break rank. We got to continue to stay focused and watch God bring increase in and for our lives. So we got to stay focused. Continue to believe God for your dream. Continue to believe God for what it is that you are desiring in and for your life life. All right. Everybody go stay focused. Can I get, can I get three people to write that? Stay focused. I got to go. Can I get three people to write that? Stay focused. I got to go. Stay focused. We got to do it. We got to do it. We, and I pray tonight, I hope I've just been an extra voice to motivate you to stay focused. You know, oh God bless you, Bishop Battles. I really do appreciate that. Honestly, I do. One of the greatest joys that I do have in my life is seeing my children's success and also to see the success of God's people, people that I prayed for, people that that have believed in my ministry or taken the teachings and accomplished their goals. A young man came to me and he said, you don't remember me and you don't know me. I was like, okay. He said, but I watch your Facebook lives and you helped me to get through a major trial in my life. And he told me, I want to thank you. Wow. It's, a, it's joys of that nature that really encourages me. And so therefore I say that to say this, it is so, such an encouragement to see and watch you stay focused. Yvette, that God save your kidneys. It's so wonderful to see you, Dr. Henry, a longtime friend, and watch God prosper your ministry and to see how we both have grown. It's such a blessing. Uh, uh, Pastor Battles, <laughs> I remember when I came to your church a few years ago and I saw the enemy really trying to take over. But I said, it's something about this young man. You know, you're very young. Something about this young man. God, you have a plan for him. And I see that plan unfolding. You know, we say the race is not given to the swift, neither the, neither the battle to the strong, but to the one that endures unto the end. I believe that. Some of you right now, all we had to do was make it to the end. And what it required is for us to stay focused. It required for us to stay focused. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It, and it, it, it may not have been that I got a million dollars, but I made it to the end of that journey. Oh, the million is coming. Now, don't fool yourself. And you know what else? Can I throw, throw this out at you? Some of you are millionaires. You just don't realize it. We're so busy looking to count the money up in our account. And I get it. I get it. But the real millionaire is the feeling. It's the feeling. The bills are paid. Go get you something to eat. You're not desperate for money. That's the feeling of the millionaire. 
God is saying, grab it right now. Just grab that. You know, sometimes I, I take things that I paid for. You know, <laughs> I paid for this. This is free. It's mine. You know, it it, it could be a uh, uh, it could be a sandwich, but I paid for it. <laughs> it whatever it is. When you pay off that furniture, this is mine. That's the feeling of the millionaire. I, I'm I'm good. You follow me? I told somebody the other day, no, I'm I'm not the one you can dumb me down on rates or price or whatever. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. You know, if you want me to 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 provide X Y Z service for you, then this is the issue. This is the fee, and this is now. If you want somebody else, you can. You can. I'm not desperate for money. I'm, oh, I thank God. You hear me? That's that millionaire mindset. And God will prosper you and bless you. I speak blessings now. I got to go. But even as we go forth on this Martin Luther King weekend, many of us, uh, I pray all of us will be celebrating such a great leader. I pray that we celebrate that he stayed focused all the way to the end. For he did tell us that he had a dream and that dream was his focus. And he even told us that he might not get there with us, but the dream, the focus was that we as a people will make it to the promised land. We got to join Dr. King and stay focused. We got to join him, all right? Can I get a heart right there from those of you that's gonna join the man of God? We're gonna join Dr. King and we're gonna stay focused. Trust me, my kids will prosper. My wife will prosper. I'm going to stay focused. Even on behalf of African Americans, I got to stay focused. I got to show we can pay our bills. We can have good credit. We can eat the good of the land. We can go and, and just the finest restaurant and you can. <laughs> normally what I do for Martin Luther King Day, I normally take my kids out uh, to a restaurant and I'm sure I'm going to do that tomorrow. Because I, I let them know we couldn't do this. We couldn't, something as simple as going to a restaurant, we really couldn't do that. We had to eat outside in the back of the kitchen or outside by the trash cans where it smelled and it was stinky. So now we're able to walk in. In fact, we're able to own a restaurant now. I got to go. I love y'all dearly. Father, I thank you right now. And I speak great blessings as we continue to stay focused, as we continue to know that greater is he who is within us, that he that is all around us, that he that is in the world. So we're going to stay focused. We're going to achieve the good that you have ordered for our lives. We honor you and we sincerely thank you. Continue to prosper us. Oh, thank you. I don't know who that person was that sold that $222 seed. It's one person in particular. I, I need, I'm not going to call your name, but I am going to say this. The Lord is telling me to tell you the mountain has just been moved. I want to say a loan has just been issued in your favor. Okay. And it's a loan that you, something's going to happen where you, it will be paid, but you won't have to pay it back. Just hold it and keep me posted as to what, what's about to happen this month of January. Okay. Congratulations. Wow. God, we thank you right now. We honor you. We speak blessings in the name of Jesus. It is so, and we know that it is well. In Jesus' name, amen. Everybody, stay focused. Blessings to you.